many of the atrocities suffered by this community. But please, ladies and gentlemen, let me add at this point in the tour that both sides of the community here have suffered equally. One is not outweighing the other one in terms of loss. To say that is incorrect is also irreverent to those that have died. The majority of the lives that were taken here were the lives of the innocent. Less than 5% of the population of Northern Ireland was actively involved in this war. The rest were innocent bystanders who tried to live their lives, raise their families, get to work on a daily basis. My war continued around them, not for 10, not for 20, but for 30 years. It's why political murals were initially painted here as a form of marking of territory, so that you were under no illusion as to whether you were in a nationalist or a unionist area. Now back in 1993, a terrible atrocity occurred on this road, the bombing of Brazil's fish shop. On a Saturday afternoon, the shop was full of customers, a bomb exploded. It killed nine innocent people. It maimed and injured many others. One of those that died in the explosion was an infant. To your left is an archway for the 36th Ulster Division, and to your right is a mural. But this time we're going to bring you through one of the gates of the Peace Wall. Now this particular section of wall is the highest of any of the Peace Walls throughout Northern Ireland. This is the gate. You'll see imagine in a moment on your left. And at the bottom, it so eloquently reads that it's for Peace Day and for every day. South Belfast Ulster Freedom Fighters. My folks, if that's not marking your territory, I don't know what is. The Ulster Freedom Fighters are the military division of the UDA. They dominate this little pocket of South Belfast. Now, Dave's Hotel here to your right, they've been campaigning for years to get that mural painted over. You can understand why. the top of the bridge here, if you look up ahead to your right, the hotel, the Vern Hotel in Europe. Over 70 bones were planted there, over 50 went off. It used to be the most bombed hotel in the world, but that title now belongs to the Hilton and Baghdad. And that is a 10-foot blast wall to protect the building from car bombings. As it contained the High Court, it was a major target during the Troubles. 